Hey guys, welcome to a slice of DIY. I have a project I just came up with. I want to put these ears on this mic. Like that. I've already solved that issue with the zip tie. No problem. These used to be on my headset. You might have seen them in one of Sean's videos, like the first ones. But um, I have an issue when I want to play on my computer here. The ears are way too big. This is just barely tall enough. So I, gotta c I want to cut these legs down, but I don't want to actually cut the legs. That's where these pencils come in. They're about the same diameter, and I'm just gonna measure them up, take this apart, um, cut them down, fit them in. Hopefully they'll work right. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I haven't done this ahead of time. So, first things first, take this apart. There's a Phillips head screw in there. And we just go like this. The whole thing is spinning out of the mic itself, which is Honestly, not a good thing. So I have to hold it. Right, let's just continue screwing that off. You can go there. Has a bushing to keep the legs intact. That's pretty neat. Oh, there goes the screw. These come, need to come off. Come on. Little rubber feet so don't skid around. Literally just plastic tubes. So, no issues there. These little pegs are what hold them in. You can see them. I gotta basically cut, take those out, stick them through pencils. Pop these out, measure these up. Should I keep the eraser? I'm thinking the eraser can go on the bottom side. So I'm going to just mark it with these. Uh, about there's fine I just no I'm not gonna bother cutting so I got a Dremel just plug it in over here come on plug in flip it around oh Oops. it was on so unscrew this stick the Cutting head in, use the little tool, bam a lamb, right as rain. First one I mark. There it is. And you probably shouldn't do this at home without a pliers or a vise. But um, I'm doing it at my home without that because I had, don't have a vise that'll grip onto this desk. Bam. And there's the charred insides of a pencil. I didn't think about the graphite. That may become an issue. It may not. That's an awfully, awfully short um, leg I'm going to have there. So it's going to be essentially like this. Super low. i got to make three more of these. Perfectly good pencils. I have tons of them. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna match it up so it's the same. Mark it. There we go. And that's about all I need from that. Actually, I'm gonna have to drill a hole for those pegs. So we swap this out. Like so. That's not warm yet. How big are these holes? About that size. Uh-oh. <laughs> the thing I have is too small. Looks like I'm not using that. Um, I'm gonna be right back. 
Okay. Well, I'm back. I had to run out and grab one of these. It's got a smaller head than the one inside here. So I got to undo this all the way. See, if you can see it, the hole is much bigger. Autofocus isn't on, so probably couldn't see that. Unless you're in full screen or something along them lines. Screw that in. That was the right one. Oh, yeah, that holds a lot better. Now it'll spin. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that's that. Now to dr see if I can't drill a hole. Hold this steady enough to where I can drill a hole through it. Hmm. Kind of hope I don't hit my finger. I think I'm done with the the Dremel. Let's unplug that so it doesn't actually turn on again. That's a hair trigger on that thing. Okay, now I just gotta tap these out, push them in those holes, I hope. And we should be good. Just stick it in the thing. Okay, the hole's too small. I need the next size up. Okay, maybe that size up is not big enough either. I might be able to use it as a file. It's hard getting these small things in view. Sorry if my hands are blocking everything. It's kind of difficult. Hmm. Alrighty. Push it through, push it through. Okay, I can't push it through. I've got a... This is why I have random tools laying about. This one. That one's too small. Let's go for the 332nd size drill, drill bit. I've already got a pilot hole so I can run it through myself. It just takes a second longer. It's no issue. Come on. I said it's no issue. There it goes. It's one of three. Two of three. Come on. See, this is how they do it in the old days. They, they spun these drill bits by hand. And it takes a while when you're by hand. No, just kidding. They had a hand crank drill. Had gears and stuff in it instead of, like, electronics. Pretty cool stuff. But let's keep it on going. Oop, I just pushed the lead out the top. That's interesting. Okay, now these little pegs should just slip. Oh, they slip in just fine. A little too fine. Uh-oh. Hmm. I got this. Let me just stick them in the hole. I hope they have enough range of... Well, I didn't do the other three. Awesome. Damn. This one's harder to get out. Grab it with the snips. There we go. Get the other one out so I don't forget. Let us... Come on. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'll put those aside in case I ever want to put it back. Just leave that in there. Make sure they don't fall through. Uh-oh, that one almost fell through. See, these pegs have little notches in there. See, if you can... No, you can't see them. It just gets blurrier as I go up. 
Oh well. I might take a picture and no, I won't actually. Let's take this in here. Ta da! All three of them just chilling out. Then we're gonna put this bushing. I think it's a bushing. It might just be a retainer ring or something. Stick it back on here. Jam this down in the center hole. Hopefully the screw will tighten up. I'm gonna do it upside down so they stay out. There's the ring. Or the, not the ring, the screw. Where did I put that? There it is. Screwdriver. Alrighty. Screw this back in here. Uh oh. I think one of them came off. I have to do it like this. Come on. Tighten up. Tighten up. Hmm. Crap. It messed up. Take it back off. See, that's why you gotta make sure those holes are like almost perfect. Because you get it to where they slide sideways when given the chance. Come on. Slide over. There we go. Let me get this one. Slide it over. Okay, now we gotta be super careful not to agitate these things while we put it back together. Cool, the, the rubber thing stayed on there, so that's one less I gotta deal with. Damn it. Come on. Gravity, work with me. Work with me, gravity. Work with me. Eh, difficult. Ay, 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 ay. Come on. Come on. Get that screw in there. Get the screw in the hole. And then we can deal with this stuff in a minute. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to lop it off and put a flat stand on it. Made out of, I don't know, one by two drywall something. Hey, they're actually locking in place like the original ones. That's pretty cool. Hey, it works. And I'm not going to bother folding it up. Come on. There we go. And that's how I modded my stand for my mic. And it cross-threaded a little bit. These plastic stands are kind of crap, honestly. That's why the Yeti, the really big one, the next one up, it doesn't come with a crappy plastic stand. Hey! Look at that. I'll probably end up turning something. But it stands. Ta-da! And that's how you make shorter legs. I'm going to stick these on here. Oh yeah, there we go. Get these little rubber feet. Whoops. Little rubber feet. Bam. Brand spanking modded. It's not new. Well, it is new, but it's not new. I use it all the time. Had it for a month and a half now, two months. And that's the video. Thanks for stopping by, watching this. Watching me mess up a little bit. Uh, if you liked it, like, subscribe. I'm probably going to come up with something else to make. I like making stuff, so there will probably be videos um, down the line of making stuff. I'll call it DIY, just like this one. Uh, leave, me, leave a comment and tell me what you think.